go. Test one and two and three. We are live. Hey, everybody. Curtis Tucker here, a.k.a. Shags on a Shaggy Duck Life. I am back. It uh, seems like it's been months. I don't think it's been months, maybe a month and a half. I apologize. It was a busy football season. Did not get uh, any episodes uploaded for a while. We are closing in on the end of the year. And I wanted to pop on here and at least get a episode in for December. And this is a special episode, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. But don't forget, uh, if you guys are listening on the podcast, you can also watch this on YouTube. I am waving to you there. You can see me. Uh, this is, let me look at the time real quick. It is uh, 11.22. I've still got about 30 minutes of life in my 50s left. And so I'm recording this on the last day of uh, being a 50-something year old because tomorrow I turn 60 years old. So just want to get an episode in to talk about all the stuff, uh, little bits of wisdom that I have learned along the way. Um, so I appreciate you guys checking in. Um, you know, one of the goals for next year and for turning 60 is to figure out what I'm going to do with this podcast. Uh, I'm uh, still going to keep doing it, want to do it. I just have to kind of figure out what uh, direction I'm going to go, which I hopefully uh, will run across. I thought I was going to by now and I just haven't, nothing's like jumped out at me. If you guys would hit me up at shags at shaggyduck.com, tell me what uh, you'd like to hear or you know some ideas for a podcast that would really help me out and then uh, maybe I could find a direction so anyway I uh, hope I have everything going I know I'm seems like I'm saying huh a lot I'm kind of out of practice on doing these solo podcasts so uh, ignore all of the things that could or might go wrong in this episode um, so my overall goal so turning 60 tomorrow my overall goal uh, because I started having kids late. I've got two girls, both in college. I'm turning 60, and so I'd like to see grandkids and do all that stuff. So my goal, the reason I stay in shape, everything that I do, uh, the goal is to live to be 102, and so that leaves me a good 42 years of life left. So I've got plenty of things that I'm planning on doing. I'm, you know, going to write the book, uh, uh, Banana Seat Squad. I'm going to do some painting. I'm going to probably paint on my surfboard. I'm going to start my Shaggy Duck brand. And so at the age of 60, I've got plenty of stuff that I'm planning on doing and I will do that. And so I've got 42 years to get it done. But uh, now that I am about to turn 60, the goal is to get at least those three things done or really going before my next birthday of 61. So you guys, please hold my feet to the fire on that. So um, these are going to be 20 quick little bits of wisdom, things that I thought about that uh, if you're you know younger, if you're a teenager, or if you're even in your 30s, 40s, uh, hopefully these might help you out. But even if you're in your 60s or all the way to your 80s, uh, it's never too late to possibly use one or two of these bits of wisdom. And so that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope everybody's doing great out there. It is almost Christmas. Uh, if I forget, I don't want to forget at the end, so I'm going to say Merry Christmas right now. Um, hopefully I'll get even maybe another episode in before the end of the year and then I can wish you guys a happy new year but uh, yeah I really want to target this podcast eventually uh, to something specific I hope and that way I think it would be easier to grow uh, but uh, as of right now it just uh, continues to be a journal of behind the scenes of the Shaggy Duck studio so um, so here we go. Anyway, let me get on with it so we can uh, I can get to bed and wake up and celebrate my 60th birthday. Oh, and just uh, by the way, real quick, I did have uh, a surprise 60th birthday party my wife threw for me on Saturday night. It was a 70s themed uh, birthday party. It was great fun. Had lots of people there. Got to see uh, lots of people I hadn't seen in a while. All my buddies uh, got together. So a great time was had by all. So tomorrow should be more like a regular day. 
and not as big a deal. So I apologize if my voice sounds a little uh, sketchy. It is 11.30 at night. I think that's why it may be a little rumbly. So, um, so here are my 20 bits of wisdom from somebody turning 60. Uh, number one, health is everything. Uh, it is by far everything. Um, I have reached uh, 60 years old and knock on wood, I uh, have no prescriptions, uh, take no medications, and so um, I've stayed in shape by walking 90 minutes every morning and I, continue, I plan to continue that until the day I cannot walk a step. Um, trying to think of, uh, let's see, um, yeah, so uh, reaching 60 without uh, having good health, you know, you kind of lose everything that you might have. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how, uh, if you have a great family, or if you have high status, if you have bad health, uh, especially if you're stuck in, uh, you know, your home or in bed, you know, none of that does you any good if you can't get out and enjoy things. So your health is going to be, I mean, by far, by total far, the number one thing. Um, me being about to turn 60, I do have a lot of uh, classmates that uh, have passed away, and then I've got other classmates that are on heavy medication, triple bypass surgery already, things like that. And so, um, and I don't know, it could be heredity, good genes, uh, working out, all that good stuff, but. Uh, knock on wood, I'm gonna knock on wood here real quick. Uh, I have my health and so uh, the, the, if you're younger, uh, just remember that your state of health at 60 is influenced a lot by what you do in your 40s. And then uh, if you're turning 60, don't forget that uh, what you do in your 60s is gonna determine, determine what your health is gonna be in your 80s. Uh, we just went through the whole uh, thing of losing my mom last January and my father-in-law, you know, a year before that, and they, I think, were both right at 82, and so we watched uh, their physical health deteriorate really quick. Uh, if they both, either one fell down, they couldn't get up. Uh, I don't want that to ever happen, and so, uh, so anyway, take care of your health. To me, that is the number one bit of wisdom that I can give you is to stay healthy, get out, something as simple as walking, you know, three times a week or every day. Get out there and stay healthy. Um, happiness in life should be the ultimate goal is number two. Strive for a job that makes you happy, a partner that makes you happy, a location that makes you happy, and friends that make you happy. If there's something in your life that doesn't make you happy, you should change it immediately. There is no wait. And so, uh, yeah, you know, you've heard all the cliches, you only get to one, one life to live, we only get one time around, you know, and so there's no do-overs. Um, you know, if you are in a unhappy relationship or you're living in a place where you're not happy or you have a job that you totally hate, I mean, you ju there's just no reason for that. Uh, I'm not telling you to quit your job or to leave your spouse overnight, but um, you should formulate a plan, work towards that plan, and then within a certain amount of time, you should uh, get out of that job or that relationship or that location and uh, make your life happy. Uh, you might as well be happy because we're only here for a short amount of time. Number three, be a part of something bigger. Uh, I think uh, that goes to, uh, you need to connect with some type of uh, spirit or uh, a sense of belonging to something bigger than you are. Uh, it can be religious, spiritual, or something else, but uh, I think you need to believe in something. I think um, believing that there's something bigger out there uh, gives you a little more hope, a little more uh, positivity, a little more of something to strive for and to be working towards. And so, um, not telling you that you need to go to church, but uh, just uh, try to get out there in the middle of nothing, you know, uh, on your own at a sunrise or a sunset, meditate a little bit and uh, try to figure out what you are, are a part of because you are, we all are a part of something bigger. We're all a network, we're all energy, we're all vibrations. 
and uh, you guys just need to try to figure that out. So uh, try to be a part of something bigger. Number four, it's never too late. Um, you know, a lot of people that might reach my age of 60, if they haven't done something, they may think, okay, uh, people are retiring. It's too late. I can't do anything. No, 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 no. No matter how old you, how old you are, uh, you can always get started on something new. Find a new passion at any age and pursue it with everything you have and you'll be personally successful. So yeah, if you start a business, it may not turn into a million dollar business, but as long as you feel like it's successful, then it's gonna be personally successful to you. Uh, until the day you die, you still got time. And so uh, me turning 60 again, uh, I will go full force on my book on my art and on my brand and so I don't feel I feel like I literally feel like I'm just getting started so it is never too late even if you're 70 or you're 80 and you're listening to this uh, it's never too late to start exercising it's never too late to get in shape it's never too late to start a new relationship um, so um, just remember that number five it's usually not as bad as you think um, when you're younger, it seems like all your problems and everything, especially like in your 20s, are so big and, and that they'll never go away. I just want you to know that uh, the problems that I have in my, had in my 20s, I don't even remember. I can't even think of what they were, but I'm sure at the time I thought they were big. But uh, just remember, nothing is as bad as you think. Uh, our first world problems here in the United States are so trivial that they fade away quicker than they appear. Don't make the small stuff the big stuff. I mean, uh, you know, if, if you got a car repair or, you know, something wrong with your house or, you know, a problem on your job, just uh, don't make it bigger than what it is. Deal with it, get past it. Um, it's always gonna go away. Things are always, always, always gonna get better. That, must, that should be one of, the, uh, one of these, but uh, I'll put it in there with, it's never as bad as you think. Um, number six, uh, Here's just a little tidbit for you. Music is important. Um, it's kind of funny now that I'm about to turn 60. I am collecting all of the albums that I had when I was a kid or, you know, a teenager. And it's been fun re uh, kind of reconnecting with all of that music. Um, you should listen to as much, as much music as you can. You know, if you're going on road trips or if you're on vacation or if you're at a certain job. Um, I would recommend listening to a certain song or artists, um, you know, in that period, and then that will mark, those songs will mark an important event or milestone or people in your life. Um, just the sound of that tune. So, so now that I'm about to turn 60, there are certain songs that I can hear that take me straight back to being 16, 17, 18 years old. Just like uh, the day that I heard the song, it brings back a lot of memories. Um, and so uh, make uh, music a part of your life and uh, have a big collection. I mean, a big playlist, a big collection of albums or, you know, whatever you're collecting. But make music an important part of your life. Number seven, job security is a myth. Um, I work for myself. I've been working for myself for about 20 years now. And uh, the chances of me firing myself are slim to none. Uh, of course, I don't have... Uh, big benefits and the security of retirement, but I'm not planning on retiring anyway, so that's no big deal. Uh, the big companies that do give you the benefits and the retirement, uh, they are also the ones that uh, give you a huge set of risks and they can be sold and you can be downsized, you can be fired. Even after 30 years, I've got one of my buddies from high school that put in decades at a company, thought he was going to retire here pretty soon and uh, was let go and had has to, at 59 years old, is having to kind of restart at another company. Uh, that would not be fun. So never get comfortable working for someone else because you never know how long it's going to last. Number eight, stay connected with as many friends as possible. Um, having a, variety, a wide variety of friends gives you more opportunities to connect. I think you should eat out with someone other than your spouse at least once a week. Uh, so call up a friend, you ask them to eat, uh, call up different friends at different times. You need to be the one to call, write, and message. Um, and uh, 
be the one to reach out, but uh, just keep those connections as you get older. Eventually, you may lose your spouse, and then you're going to need friends uh, to, to keep that connection. And so uh, loneliness and uh, being alone uh, does contribute to people dying at a younger age. Number nine, you don't have to act old. So I'm 60 years old, I've got my uh, tennis shoes on, I wear sneakers, I wear shorts, uh, I wear ball caps, I wear them backwards a lot of the time. Um, I try not to act like I'm old, I skateboard, I run, um, I, you know, anything that comes up that I can do, I, I try to do it. Uh, don't act like you're old or people will strike treating you like you're old. Don't look like you're old or people will think you're old. Um, when it comes to clothing, wear whatever makes you comfortable. Um, I wouldn't say that if you're 60, try to wear what's trending with the 13-year-olds, but um, you don't also don't have to wear what uh, people in, you know, in the 60, you know, year old range are wearing either. So find the clothes that make you comfortable and if you look comfortable, you're going to be happy, and I think you're going to act younger. So, uh, also do do the things that younger people do. Don't you don't have to do eighty or sixty or eighty or seventy year old things. You can uh, at sixty, I can still skateboard, or I can, you know, go to the lake and you know ride the kneeboard and and try to do tricks. You know, there, it, you're just. Uh, you don't have to act old, so uh, that was number nine. Number ten, family is not always blood related. As you get older, you're going to find out who who is your real family. And when I say family, I don't mean you know who who's in your ancestry tree. I mean who is close to you, who's going to look out for you, who's there for you. Um, you're going to find out that as you get older, uh, your blood relatives are not always going to be the closest people to you. You may begin to rely on longtime friends, relatives by marriage, stepkids, uh, neighbors, and maybe even co-workers. So you need to rely on the people that make you the most comfortable. And uh, they're going to be the people that are going to be there uh, as you get older and get down the line. Um, you know, I've seen... Uh, you know, uh, lots of people get old and their, their actual blood family uh, relatives are not always the first to show up and not always there on a regular basis. And so don't uh, rely solely on blood relatives. Number 11, use common sense and go with your gut. And that's on lots of different things, uh, especially health and uh, things that the government tells you. Uh, experts do not know everything. And many times they are wrong, even though they won't admit it. Uh, a lot of times they are wrong. If your gut tells you something different than what an expert is telling you, you should listen to your gut. Go with that. Uh, also, if you stop for a second and uh, think about it, common sense is a great guide when making life decisions. Uh, I learned uh, many of those lessons over this pandemic thing, uh, if you think about some of the things that we were told to do or not to do, if you really put common sense to them, um, some of them were pretty ridiculous. And so at the age of 60, I will not be fooled again. Number 12, never, ever pass up a chance to go on an adventure. Adventure is my life. You guys know that <clears throat> I've done, you know, some pretty fun things like flying with the Thunderbirds and um, now I've just forgotten everything you know on my list but uh, you know every chance I get I try to go on an adventure I try to plan uh, you know at least one or two fun adventures every year and so uh, never pass up a chance because these adventures are going to be the stories that you're going to be talking about as you get older when your uh, grandkids come over uh, these are the stories you're going to be telling them. Make your adventures as big as possible and have as many as you can. You'll never look back and regret going on a great adventure, I promise you. Number 13, stuff won't always be a big deal. And what I mean by that is stuff. You know, like, look behind me. These Everything in this room is just stuff. Uh, and as you get older, this stuff does not... Uh, 
uh, is not as big a deal. What you're going to what you're going to learn as the expensive things that you bought when you were younger that you thought were the important things eventually. Uh, as they get older and less valuable in your mind, they're going to just become clutter. So if the earlier that you learn that, the better off it is, then you don't try to collect uh, as much expensive stuff. Now, I've got a bunch of stuff in here, but it is, uh, it's not expensive stuff. It's stuff that brings up great memories of uh, the 70s and when I was a kid. So uh, even though it looks like clutter and it is clutter, it's not just, it's important stuff to me, not just stuff. I'm not, I don't just have stuff to have stuff to show, you know, status or things like that. So um, just uh, don't haul around junk that you don't need or that doesn't mean something special to you. Number 14, money does not solve problems. The more money you make, the more problems you're probably going to have. Uh, the more expensive car, the more the repairs are going to cost you, the bigger your house, the more repairs are going to need. Uh, make enough money to live comfortable, uh, comfortably and I think you're going to be happy. Uh, just you know, make sure you have enough uh, to pay for everything at the end of the month. Have some money in savings. And don't forget that uh, in the end, you're not going to be able to take it with you. So uh, money is not going to solve your problems. Uh, but having enough money is going to, you know, keep you from being stressed. So, but just find that happy medium in there and uh, just make enough to be happy. Uh, also, money related, number 15, avoid debt. Um, I've been over my head in debt a couple of times in my life and I've paid it all down and got rid of it and life is much better and less stressful if you can avoid debt. Now most people cannot avoid debt when they buy a home or a car but uh, I am warning you if you're younger avoid credit cards and avoid buying stuff that you can't afford. Make a plan and uh, pay for things uh, that you already have enough money to afford. The thing about credit cards is once your credit card amounts get so high and those interest rates um, start compounding, basically you eventually get to the point where you're paying nothing but the interest and you never pay down the credit cards. And it's just a ever revolving door and so uh, if you are in debt make a plan get yourself out of debt and then avoid it again here's kind of a weird one you're gonna think number 16 brush and floss regularly healthy teeth will save you a huge amount of money and stress as you get older a healthy smile is almost priceless um, if you can get into your 80s with all of your own teeth and if they look relatively healthy, I promise you, you're going to be happier and people are going to think that you're younger and healthier than if you have a bad set of teeth or dentures. People know when you have dentures. Um, you cannot hide your teeth. They are front and center as you get older and people do notice a bad set of chompers. Uh, my mom went through the whole implant a dental implant thing and was never happy with her implants. Uh, she just felt like she couldn't chew. She took them out all the time. Uh, just was not happy. So try to keep all of your own teeth as long as you can. The only way to do that is to keep them healthy. Number 17, be kind. Uh, that's a pretty simple one. Um, don't be the old guy that comes out on the porch and screams for the kids to get off your lawn. I mean, it's not going to be that big a deal. They're not going to destroy your lawn. Uh, don't be a bully. Treat people with respect and they're going to treat you with appreciation. Kindness is attractive and be, will be remembered. And so always be kind. Always treat people with kindness and uh, that's going to get you a lot further in life. Number 18, friends and family will die. Um, as you get older, especially as you hit the age of 60, you will have lost some close friends, some classmates, and uh, probably a parent. And uh, your close friends will probably have lost a parent as well. And so um, 
dying is a part of life. It's just going to be one of those deals. Uh, so be sure to tell people close to you how much you care about them. Tell them often. Don't uh, wait until it's too late. Don't lose close connections to family and friends that you do care about. Uh, don't let six months go by without reaching out to them. Don't wait for them to reach out to you. I think you uh, need to be the one. I think the more that you reach out, then I think people will in turn reach back out to you. Uh, it's not going to be pleasant when people die, but it's going to happen, so um, expect it. Number 19, smile always. This kind of this this kind of goes hand in hand with the teeth one. A bright smile will not only make you feel better, but it makes other people feel better. Uh, you can always brighten somebody's day with a big smile. Smiles attract conversation. People uh, prefer to talk to people that are smiling to them. Uh, when somebody in line sees you smiling and starts up a conversation, it creates new friendships, new connections, and uh, smiling people, uh, it has been proven, if the more you smile, the less stress you have, the less stress you have, the longer you are going to live. That is science. It's documented, so uh, check that out. And then the last one on the list, uh, trying to keep these pretty quick, number 20, you are going to get old. So if you're listening to this, uh, like in your, if you're in your 20s or your 30s, uh, I am in my 60s. I don't know how I got here. It, uh, it just, uh, somehow I got here. I, it crept up on me, but um, God willing, we'll all get old. Aging is a part of living. Embrace your long life while ignoring the age number. You know, as they say, age is only a number. Uh, when you look at two different 60-year-olds, no two people age exactly the same. There's genetics, there's lifestyle, there's uh, where you're living, there's so many factors, uh, but a lot of those factors you can control. So you are going to get older, you know, age-wise, number-wise. There's nothing you can do to stop the numbers, but there are things you can do to stop the aging process where your mind, your body, your spirit can stay younger. And uh, that's what I try to do. Um, you can age young and you will live a long and happy life. And so that's what I plan on doing. Those are my 20 bits of wisdom from a guy that uh, in about 20 minutes is going to be turning 60 years old. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I uh, apologize for not getting uh, more episodes out in a quicker uh, way, but uh, still trying to figure out, uh, you know, without just boring you guys to death with episodes just because I need an episode. I'm kind of waiting for things to come along that I have to talk about. I uh, thought it would be fun to give you the perspective of life from a soon-to-be 60-year-old. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys let me know what you think. If you guys are over 60, uh, let me know some of uh, the things that you feel like have kept you young. And you can hit me up at uh, shags, S-H-A-G-G-S, at shaggyduck.com. Don't forget to go to YouTube. That's youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker TV. Or they've got that new at. You can go to YouTube and type in at Curtis Tucker and that will pull up my YouTube channel, and then I'm waving at you right now. You can see actually see what a 60-year-old podcaster looks like. I've got my McAllister's sweatshirt on. Um, probably need to do <clears throat> some type of a pose uh, tomorrow uh, for my 60-year-old picture, but um, don't forget, I also do the 70 Buzz podcast and Buzzhead Radio with Todd Wheeler. We will be recording those uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be live on those, uh, so you guys can check those out. And we'll be, you know, it'll be on my birthday, my actual birthday, when we'll be live on those. So that'll be kind of fun over there. So anyway, again, thank you guys for checking in. I appreciate you all. Let me know where you guys are from. Would love to hear uh, who is listening to this show. And again, I need your feedback. You got to tell me 
what you are interested in and I will take that to heart and hopefully maybe just one of you can give me enough direction to know where this show ought to go but uh, until I figure that out I will just continue to do these random episodes of life and the journey that I'm going on here uh, on a Shaggy Duck Life so everybody have a Merry Christmas again have a wonderful week and I will be back with another episode hopefully soon see ya